Hello world. I'm civil rights leader, attorney Pastor Regina Rogers, Muhammad, Rock Regina. And I'm about to preach this morning, and I want the world to turn to the book of Exodus. Exodus 20, chapter 20. Let's read. Amen. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God give thee. 13 verse, thou shalt not kill. 14 verse, thou shalt not commit adultery. 15 verse, thou shalt not steal. 16 verse, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. 17 verse, thou shalt not convert thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not convert thy neighbor's wife. None his man servant. None his man maid servant. None his ox, none his ass, none anything that is thy neighbor. And all the people saw the thunders and the lightning and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. Amen. Well, we're going to read about Congressman John Lewis was a good friend of mine. And the best civil rights leader after Dr. Martin Luther King died. Congressman John Lewis shared so many memories to our city. Congressman John Lewis, back in 1963, Congressman John Lewis was a man that took over the marches for Dr. Martin Luther King and his accuracy. Congressman John Lewis was a man that spoke like Dr. Martin Luther King, sound like Dr. Martin Luther King, and show action like Dr. Martin Luther King. Back in 1963, Congressman John Lewis fighting for justice for our nation, and he led so many marches to seek justice for us to seek peace and to seek love for our city. Congressman John Lewis stood by Dr. Martin Luther King in trial and tribulation in the civil rights movement. Congressman John Lewis had a dream that he would free the world with peace and love. Congressman John Lewis was arrested 40 times in the civil rights movement. He was a strong man of God. He was Dr. Martin Luther King's twin. And he was the man God chose him to be our next president. He lived 80 brutal for years of struggle. Congressman John Lewis was a fighter. He had gone to be with the Lord <clears throat> in another place called Congressman John Lewis, heaven. I'm a civil rights leader, attorney pastor, Regina Rogers Muhammad from Georgia. I have been arrested for justice also. In my life, I have been charged with murder and placed on parole and probation at the age of 16. Back in 2002. I've been arrested a lot of times for fighting for justice. I wanted to become the president of the United States of America. I have raised 12 beautiful angels and kings. I struggled to raise my children. Some days I didn't have food. Some days I didn't have shelter. Some days I was broke. Some days I had to cry and beg. Some days I was sick and pain. Some days I almost died in the hospital room, on a hospital bed. But God made me 
strong. I got on my knees and prayed and prayed that things would get better. And this day, July 26, 2020, here I am preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and following his footsteps. Amen. Well, I love you all, and God loves you. Till death do us apart. Civil right leader, attorney Pastor Regina Rogers Muhammad, Rock Regina. I love y'all, girl. Amen. 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 Black Lives Matter.